What's up, YouTube? This is 80s Transformer fan, aka Shadow Flight, bringing you a toy review, more of a toy comparison of the two reissue Sound Blasters. On the left, you have the 2005 reissue, and on the right, you have the 2012 reissue. And I'm going to get right into it. I'm start off by telling you that this one does not come with Rat Bat. I got it up there just for display because I think it looks nice. You know, he has this wing thing up here, so I just threw it in there. Um, the 2005 edition came in this white box. They call it the book style box because he comes with a little book inside. Uh, some backstory in Japanese of Sound Blaster. Um, data car file on Trypticon, a picture of the actual toy, Metro P Fortress Maximus, excuse me. Um, I know why Fortress Maximus is in here because the cassettes give you a readout of the weaknesses when you put it in the door, but I don't know why Trypticon's in here. And uh, Sound Blaster himself, uh, the original box, he came with Buzzsaw still, and he was D101 release. Oh, the back of the box. And it just shows you what comes in the box in the previous release guide. And the 2012 version. It's much bigger. It has enemy, has wing thing. And the original artwork from the original release which is kind of strange because uh oh because this guy was designed after the cartoon and this guy with rat bat was designed after the original toy and when I say he was designed after the cartoon, I mean because on the 2012 version, his face has the red eyes and the face painted all the way up to the visor to give the, the, the illusion of a bigger mouth protector. And it's painted all around the sides of the head. Whereas this version, the 2005 version face is painted up identical to the 80s Japan release. They're all Japan releases, but yeah. Now, as you can see, he comes with enemy basically a rumble repaint uh, frenzy repaint but this guy actually existed in the 80s he was a voice changer with a little headset and an actual voice box that clipped onto your waist belt was a giant head of his and he was released as this toy on an AM radio where he was actually stuck to the radio and he didn't have any uh, chest paint at all and he was stuck to the radio you couldn't get it off without breaking the radio And again, this Sound Blaster did not come with Rat Bat. I just like it in there. It looks sweet. And to get to a few more differences, all the, what used to be stickers are painted on to this version. You got the big thing on the door, which I don't like. And this guy, oddly enough, doesn't even come with a sticker. This is his packaging material. He comes packaged with the um, cards for him, Ravage, and Buzzsaw, and a sticker sheet. And nowhere on the sticker sheet is a Decepticon logo because you were intended to read the cassettes when you put them in the chest that gave you the readout of the weaknesses to Fortress Maximus. I'll show you that in a second. And this guy is painted logo. And then you can see the gold chrome on the bottom of the tape deck here. Let me just zoom in. 
and this one was unpainted without gold chrome it's just plain but there are stickers on this guy get these guys down the only stickers come on his weapons here and here and here and here and I'm assuming because it was more difficult to do a rounded paint application that's just my guess I don't know but they, all the rest of them all this stuff is uh painted on there's this guy still has the stickers factory applied at the knees sides of the leg and also the add-ons that you do yourself which I have haven't put on haven't had the heart to put on and another difference between these guys you'll notice I hope the hope the camera can get it is a this is more like a metallic plastic and this is just like a gray plastic this was looks like it was meant to simulate metal and there's no mistake in this one it's just uh it almost look Hasbro American US release because it, it doesn't look like it has um, a whole lot of quality but they feel the same the toys actually feel the same um okay right I'm gonna get into I can get these weapons off without breaking them get into the tech spec readout that I mentioned before for Fortress Maximus when you transform the tape and put it inside this little image here is supposed to be like a decoder when used against the red interior and you can just see the weak points in the armor of Fortress Maximus just there and he also he does hold two cassettes and get Ravage out and get Ravage inside and Ravage has the exact same imagery when he's transformed and there you go sound blaster holds two cassettes we all wanted our sound wave to hold two cassettes when we were children and there he is he holds two cassettes other than the color scheme they're pretty much the same except for in price the one on the left on eBay goes for like a hundred dollars or more and right now as I'm filming this the 2012 version is going for 60 to 70 bucks and because this guy comes with tapes we've already seen I would recommend this guy more because we had never had a wing thing outside the action master line and this is the first true enemy who existed uh, 25 years ago and uh, he's a great looking figure I love the little color pattern they put on. I kind of wish they had did the gold and chrome, but they didn't. What can you do? If you had to pick up just one of these guys, I would say uh, pick up the 2012 version. I like the box artwork. I, I like the old school box better. There's nothing wrong with this box. I mean, it's great. It has the same... Uh, things going on inside it has a little clear uh, cassette holders the same clear bubble interior it has a little book but this one it invokes G1 it's gonna look better on your shelf or wherever you choose however you choose to display it this box is gonna look nice so more or less I can see myself selling this figure back on eBay and keeping the tapes because I prefer the unpainted version I like to do the stickers myself and I like the fact that you can see the image through the door and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put those on there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about when you 
put the cassette inside and just have a little bit more difficulty viewing the image on the door get this guy transformed again it's the exact same transformation as rumble and frenzy or frenzy and rumble but I do I love these colors I love the the red on this side for the tape and just the uh, nice color red on this side like wing thing down it's sound blaster 2012 out put them in the tape deck and as you can see the imagery is the gimmick part and the reason why the tape deck is red it's now blocked and they both do hold two cassettes if I had to get one and only one I would get the 2012 for the price and the, the uh, previously unreleased tapes because if you like me you own a Ravage and a buzzsaw already I own the originals and I got another version which Ravage came with I, I got like four or five Ravages so I would get this version if I only get one but if I'm only going to keep one sound blaster, I'm going to keep this version because it doesn't have the, the stickers already done. It's something to be said for doing them yourself, even though I like the paint application of this face. But this guy is probably going to go back on eBay and I'm going to keep this guy. OK, Transformers fan, this has been 80s Transformer fan with a little review slash comparison of sound blasters 2005 and 2012.